What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take a flash drive or an SSD in a USB enclosure and make an amazing portable Linux 22 Wilma operating system that you can carry around in your pocket. And the cherry on top, we're going to add persistence to that. So no matter where you go, you can save your work and it'll be right there next time you pop your flash drive in. Let's dive right in. All right, if you don't have Ventoy downloaded, go ahead and access that through the link in the description. Click on download, that'll take you over to SourceForge. One of the only websites where you wanna click that big green button, go ahead and click that, wait five seconds, and the download will kick off. Shouldn't take very long, it's a rather small file. We'll give it a few seconds, that'll complete. And then go ahead and open that up in File Explorer, and we'll just simply unzip this directory by right-clicking and selecting Extract All. Now that'll give us a few files in a main directory here. We'll come back to this later, but we're gonna use two of those files today. Next, you're gonna head on over to the link in the description for Linux Mint 22, click on download, and then you're gonna scroll down to where you see the mirrors and go ahead and select a mirror of your choice. I chose one from the USA, that's totally up to you. All right, while that is downloading, let's go ahead and open up the Ventoy folder that we extracted. And again, today we're gonna to be using two files. The first one, the main one is the Ventoy to disk. Go ahead and crack that open. If you're gonna use this again, feel free to pin it to the taskbar like I just did. Warning, warning, make sure you select the correct drive here, guys. Very important step. It will wipe out everything on the drive. So make sure you have the correct drive selected. Once you do that, nothing to worry about. Click yes to these prompts, again, it's just double warning you there. Hey, we're gonna nuke your drive, everything's gonna be gone, so make sure you get the right drive. All right, that only takes a couple of seconds there, and then it'll say congratulations, you now have Ventoy on your disk. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and open up File Explorer, and we're gonna find that USB drive that we just installed Ventoy on. In my case, it's the F drive. I'm using a uh, prototype that I'm working on here or that I will be using for a prototype, so it's a rather large one, but any flash drive should work. All right, once your Linux Mint 22 download completes, go ahead and access that from your download folder. You're just gonna copy that, and then you're gonna go back to your Ventoy flash drive, and you're gonna paste it in there. All right, once that's complete, go ahead and rename this file. It just makes it easier to work with when we do the Ventoy plugs on. In my case, I'm just gonna name it Mint 22. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a couple of folders here, or three folders to be exact. This is optional, but I do recommend it. The first one, I'm just gonna call it ISOs. This just helps to really uh, organize things. And once I create the ISOs folder, I'll drag my Mint 22 ISO into it. And then I'll create another folder here. This one is gonna be called Ventoy. And this is where the Ventoy configuration stuff that we'll create later is stored. And the last one I'll create is the persistence. This will be where we store the actual persistence.dat files. All right, now what you wanna do is go back to your Ventoy folder and launch the Ventoy plugson. That'll open up a uh, Chrome tab or whatever your default browser is there. Once that opens up, click on the persistence plugin on the left and then click on the green add button. This will give you two fields that you need to populate. The first one is the path, the entire path that is to the ISO. So in my case, my flash drive is the F drive. So F colon forward slash ISOs forward slash mint 22 dot ISOs. ISO, excuse me. Make note guys, this is Linux, so it's all case sensitive. All right, now follow the next link in the description for the pers persistence dat files. These are pre-baked. Scroll down and see, see the download pre-created and then click on that hyperlink. This will take you over to GitHub and you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you see the zip file that I highlight here with an arrow in just a second. There it is, images.zip. Go ahead and click on that. Shouldn't take very long. These are extremely compressed. And then you go ahead and give it a second and then open that up in File Explorer and we will extract that. All right, so once that opens up, same thing. We're gonna right click and we're gonna say extract all. Put it wherever you want. I'm just gonna do it right here in my downloads folder for this demonstration. That'll give you an images folder. In here, you have a whole bunch of images. Now we need to figure out which image that we need or which dat file that we need. So go back to the persistence URL and look for Linux Mint in our case. That'll tell you that you need to use Casper RW. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this entire line just so it makes sense for you guys. So Casper RW correlates to Linux Mint. And in that folder, you'll have several flavors 
Uh, each flavor will have multiple sizes and they'll have multiple file systems. We're gonna use ext4. I just have better luck with that and it's more flexible. So get the Casper RW ext4, again, multiple sizes. I'm gonna use the biggest one that they have here being the four gigabytes. So once you see that, right click it and extract all. And that'll take a second to extract, and then we'll have our DAT image that we'll put into our persistent folder on our flash drive. So this doesn't take too long. Again, it's pretty highly compressed, but the extraction doesn't take very long. All right, so now go ahead and right-click on this once it's extracted, and then you're going to copy that, or you can highlight it and do a Control-C. But first, excuse me, we're going to rename this again for the uh, purpose of making it easier. So I'm going to call mine Mint22 Persistence. If you don't rename it, just know that you'll have to type in that whole generic name it gives you uh, when you go to input this into the PlugSon. So copy that file once you've renamed it, go back to your Ventoy flash drive, go into the persistence folder and paste it. All right, that shouldn't take too long. Once that is done, go back to your PlugSon tab in your browser. And now you can go ahead and populate the path to the persistence dat file. Note that the ISO part is saved as long as you don't exit out of that tab or anything, it does save your work for you. So again, our uh, example here, I'm using a flash drive that is the F drive. So F colon forward slash persistence and then forward slash the name of that dat file and include the dot dat. And again, note that it is fully case sensitive. Okay, go ahead and stop your plugs on. That'll just be in your taskbar there. Stop that, hit okay, and then you can exit your browser. All right, now it's time to test our work. You can do this from a laptop just for demonstration purposes. I am gonna use a virtual machine, in this case, virtual box. So I fire up a blank virtual machine that I made for booting from USBs, and then I go down to the USB option and connect, in this case, the SSK 1TB flash drive. So we'll give that a second and that should boot up here. Well, to take us into the boot menu, I'm gonna select boot manager and then select my SSK here, which is my uh, one TV drive again. So that'll have one option, inventory the ISO. Make sure you are selecting to boot with persistence, otherwise you won't have persistence, obviously. And then there'll only be one option for that persistence file. So go ahead and run that. Give this a second to boot into Linux Mint and there you have it. So all we really need to do now is test it, but I do wanna show you guys something here in the terminal. Apologize for it being uh, small here. We don't have tools installed, VM tools installed, <clears throat> or whatever they call it, guest editions in VirtualBox. If you do a df-h, that'll show you your different file systems. The cow file system, the forward slash cow, is your persistence folder, excuse me, your persistence file system. So think of that as like an overlay to the home directory. So anything in that home directory that you save, install, et cetera, et cetera, will be saved because of that cow file system. Now I do have some other uh, videos on extending that um, dat file. If you're interested, just check out my playlist on the ultimate USB and there's all kinds of stuff in there with Ventsoy. So all I did here was did a nano and I'm gonna create a text file. And that's just to verify that the file will be there after we reboot the system. So I just did nano space test and that'll open up the nano text editor. I put in a few lines of text there, including don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so we see the uh, test file is there on the desktop. That's where I navigated to before I opened nano. And we open it up just to verify. Now we'll do a sudo reboot and we will let this virtual machine reboot. It says remove the media and hit enter. We're not gonna remove in this case because we wanna boot right back into it. Okay, it's back up, same steps. Select boot with persistence and go ahead and fire this puppy back up. And you know this is gonna work because we're pros at this by now. We've used Ventoy a lot. So there's our file right on the desktop, guys. Sweet. Told you it works in 22. I made a video a while back on 21 and people are telling me, hey, this doesn't work on 22. I call BS. There it is, baby. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Please consider hitting that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. I love to hear your feedback and subscribe to the channel. A lot more good content coming soon. Thanks, guys. Take care.